Uh, next up, we're talking about our remote display. So the remote display is just a really nice option if you have a lot of scales in a, in a one particular plane. So in the old days, we didn't have this option. And you would just have four, five, six, seven scales spread throughout a huge quarry. And an operator would have to walk or drive his truck or whatever from one to the next to the next to the next to, to write the numbers down, to do zero calibrations, all that type of thing. Now you can just do it right from the control tower. So the operator can be lazy. He can just sit there, look at this screen. He sees the weight, he sees the rate, he sees the belts running, sees the speed. He can reset those weights all at once if he wants, and he can do zero calibrations, no more headache of trying to go out to each scale. So we've got a couple sizes. We've got a four inch, which is real small. It's just designed for maybe one or two scales. And this seven inch is um, goes up to six scales. And uh, we've got one sitting here we can look at real quick. We don't have uh, an enclosure on this one, but get the idea. Um, it's just really nice and bright and easy to use. Very, very simple for the operator to do what he needs to do. Uh, there's a few other data logging functions on here that, you know, some people use, some people don't. You can take screenshots, a lot of other different things you can do here. But mainly, this is an operator sitting in a control tower, and he just wants to be able to see those scales very easily. And this is a very easy way for them to do it. Um, and usually this is going to be wireless. You can run a bunch of network cables if you want, cat five cables throughout the plant, but it's so much easier to just do it wireless. So we've got a little, you know, wireless setup here. So we just kind of stick this little bracket on the side of the conveyor, run one cat five cable into the integrator, and you're off and running. It's wireless and you've got an access point up in the tower that will talk to any number of scales out there, plug it into this remote display, and you're all set. So that installation process is so much easier than running a bunch of cables most of the time. So, and you can reset the tons from yeah, here. Re resetting the, you know, again, everything the operator wants to do is right there. You're looking at the weights, you're looking at the total, you're doing mm -hmm. zero calibration. So pretty straightforward. Um, and then we'll uh, jump over to, we do have one other um, size, which we call the TV module. So it doesn't come with a display, but it's just a little box that has an HDMI cable coming out of it, and it also has a mouse attached to it. And you just plug it into any HDMI TV. So if you walk into some, you know, these newer control rooms and they've got a bunch of monitors and screens and stuff, it's real easy just to drop another screen up in the tower and then it looks like NASA. You know, it's just real easy for the operator to sit there and this goes up to 12 scales. So it's just, an, and some people just use it for like two or three scales just because they like the fact that it can be any size. They can get a 20 inch TV and see it from across the room if they want. So it's just a real great option. Once we came out with these, a lot of people quit using the, the smaller remote displays and just absolutely only buy the TV uh, display version. So they really um, like. Aaron, we got a couple of questions. Uh, sure. Number one is, can you change products on the screen which are running over the belt? So yeah, you can do that. I do have software from in our TV module that you can do that. You can uh, keep track of different products uh, from there. So you, you just have a little drop down uh, and you just say product one and then runs and then switch it to product two, run a different product. So yeah, there is that capability with this remote display. You, it's, you can't really do that with the scale itself. Um, as straight in a straightforward fashion, you can reset the total, for example, on the scale integrator itself, and then run a different product, and then reset the total again to keep track of different products. But it doesn't really tell you what those products were. But here on the remote display, yes, I can keep track of multiple products. Okay, so so the question then pops up: Does that keep records 
of the total tonnage of the products or records yes. of the product changes. Okay. Yes. Right. So it's like I said, it's got some some data logging functions. It'll data log, you know, the tons per hour and the total weight to a USB and keep records of those totals and the products. So yes, there are some simple data logging. Basically, it's just saving stuff to like an Excel type file. Uh, it doesn't really do anything super sophisticated, but it does have some some nice data logs if you want to download them and, and look at them on a the computer or something. Uh, I had a question pop up. Uh, I think it has to do with dual idlers. I'm not sure the question is from Marco. When it's dual, do you have to use two uh, belt scales, I guess? Um, I'm not sure of that question, to tell you the truth. Yeah. So the the dual idler, uh, you would need four load cells, but you only, you still only have the one controller. And one one controller. Oh, okay. That's okay. Yeah, because yeah. there's a four load cell input in the integrator. Yeah. It's That's actually eight load cell, but you use you can use up to four That's of them. Right. Correct. Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we're just adding more load cells. Same control box. Same. Integrator. And can you can you connect the indicator to a SQL Server or the integrator? Do you have, know that or not? No, we don't have a way to do that directly. Um, okay. The communications uh, coming out of there are, um, now I take that back, there, there's probably a way to customize from the remote display, we might be able to do something like that, but not directly from the integrator. Directly from the integrator, we've got Modbus communications. So if you've got software, mm -hmm that will read Modbus and then save it into a SQL database, that's possible. Or we can do that from the remote display and kind of, we have got some more options. If we've got a bunch of scales, we can combine it all the remote display and then save it into a file and load it into a, a database like that. I want to let you all know too, I'll just interject here a bit. Tomorrow, I think uh, Colony are probably going to send all of you an email with contact information because a lot of these questions, that group at Beltway are very good and adept at answering. So we'll give you that that uh, that inroads as far as who to ask the questions to tomorrow. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. So that's pretty much the, the TV option here.